Hi, I'm Lori Marchant, and I'm on the Bright Bible team, and I want to show you our website, theilluminatedlife.org, and I'll be using some of our March printables, which are just beautiful. Here's a quick example, just really pretty oranges and blues and olives, and we're having an online retreat on April 16th and 17th that you won't want to miss. It's going to be excellent with some fun new things like faith art and Bible journaling, of course, and music and holy yoga and creative visualization and wonderful speakers. You'll love it. Okay, today um, I'm doing a kind of faith art called Junk Journals. And, of course, they're not always faith-based, but when I do them, they usually become a prayer journal for answered prayer or for sermon notes or for writing your daily gratitude. And I use some of the printables. I printed them on ivory cardstock and made um, cut it the size I want the cover to be. And I used washi tape to... Um, join the two pieces to make a cover and I added one of the banner printables to make it a little sturdier and then some words for the cover and some of the pages that I used were also part of the printables aren't they beautiful and I'll stencil some designs softly on the back and I also use avocado dyed paper. It's just regular copy paper folded in half. And I take washed avocado pits and skins and boil them in water and simmer them on lower heat for a couple of hours and then cool it and strain it. And it makes a beautiful liquid to dye things this beautiful kind of a dusty rose color. I love those. So those are going to be some of my pages. And today I want to show you how to make what's called an embellishment. And you want lots of writing space in your journal, of course. And so you can make little pockets and things. So this, the banner, works as a pocket here. And if you glue it um, just on the sides. It can also be a pocket here glued onto a page in your journal. And so I'm going to show you kind of my thought process for choosing some of the um, things I use in it. Okay, so um, let's start with Isaiah 41, 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. That's our focus verse, one of them. And so help is near. That's on the printables. And I'm taking an old, old hymnal. And I chose a page and just used another. It's called a corner tuck to mark my page. But that's an example of an, embellish, an embellishment for a junk journal. And instead of using another old book page, I'm going to use a, um, a hymnal page. So I mark the page I want, and I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut this page out of the book gently. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in thirds. I want these words to show, so I'm going to turn it upside down and fold it in and then fold this side in just where it meets. And then I'll run a tiny line of art glitter glue down the edge of this. You don't need much. That's part of what I love about art glitter glue. A little teeny bit goes a long way with it. And then I put my pin back in my glue so it doesn't dry up. Okay, then I turn it over and I'm going to ink up the edges before I fold anymore because once you fold it, it gets a little harder to reach where you want to ink it. I like to use Distress Ink 
I use vintage uh, vintage photo or walnut stain most often. Um, they give pages kind of an aged look, and I like that look. But if you don't like that look, you sure don't have to distress edges. It's a personal choice. So then I'm going to fold this up. It doesn't really matter how far because... I just need to make sure it's going to fit on one of my journal pages. So I'll check because eventually it will be glued onto a page and it fits. So I'm going to glue a teeny strip of glue along from this fold to this edge and another teeny line of glue or glitter glue along this edge. And then when you fold it down, it becomes like a little pocket because it only glues on each side. And I like that. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to glue that part. I mean, I forgot to distress that part. So now you get to see that it's a little bit more difficult, but you can still put a paper in there and still distress the part you missed. It just would have been easier if I cut that before. So, okay. And then when I folded it, I don't think this part was distressed. So let me get that part. Okay. And now um, I'm going to decorate it a little bit. So I want to decide which kind of washi tape or ribbon I want to use. I have some uh, lacy kind of um, see-through kind of ribbon in the right colors and this is a little bit thicker ribbon in the same color scheme and I used uh, the lacy one on this pocket and I used the um, I used the other one on a different one I made and this time I think I want to use this washi tape and when I use washi tape I like to add a little bit more glue just to make sure it's going to stay down. You don't want it lifting and washi tape is kind of um, kind of delicate glue. So I'm going to put a little bit of washi right here, the teeny bit of our glitter glue. And you could use a glue stick for this also. And for glue sticks, I prefer um, Scotch Create glue stick is my favorite. It's a good one. And I went a little bit far, so without cutting through it, I'm going to trim a teeny bit there. Okay, then it makes a pocket for um, any kind of card you want to put in it. This is one of the banners. It says, He Holds My Hand. And that can go right in that pocket. And then another banner can go after I glue it to the page. And I want to decorate it up a teeny bit more. So let's add a little bit of fabric. And I have some with a little bit of orange here. And I'm going to see it needs to be trimmed a little bit on this side. And about there ought to be the right size. So let's see. Okay, and I'm going to glue it down again, my favorite art glitter glue. Since this has, um, it has backing on it, it'll stick, but sometimes with fabric, I prefer to use um, Fabrifix is better for fabric. Okay, and then I'm going to add one little flower. I have an orange one here and then a little brad with it. So let's see, I have some choices of brads. I, I think this one, well, I don't want fall, so I think this one is the right colors, but not a fall themed one. Most of my orange supplies are for autumn actually, but that's okay. I love these floral fall kind of things. And I've got a thin, thin hole punch. So I'm going to um, punch a little hole in this to put my flower. And it's a little hard to get it through the fabric, but I think I got it. Then you poke your brad through your flower and then through where you made your hole. 
and you just add it to the front. It's not cooperating right now, of course, but that's okay. <laughs> Let me straighten out my bread. It has to go in straight. Oh. I need to poke the hole a little bit more with the scissor, I think. Okay, and as I was messing that with that a little bit, I noticed that my edge popped up a little bit so I'll just add a little more glue on the sides and hold them down for a second and I'll just straighten out my flower a little bit and I like that as an embellishment for a page in my journal and then I would just um, pop it on the page if you want it to be a pocket you would add your glue just down the edges like this. If you want to put glue everywhere and it'll just be glued down totally, it won't be a pocket, but that would be fine too. Okay, just glue it on your page. Okay, let's close with a quick prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for this time together. Please hold our hands and we'll remember to ask you for help every day and walk with you. Thank you for holding our hands and protecting us and guiding us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Bye-bye.